For the best prices and service on Pokemon TCG singles and products, check out ccgcastle.com and use promo code evolutionaries-5 for 5% off your next order. What's up, guys? And here, and for this Deck Tech Thursday, I'm going to be profiling for you guys a Lycanroc deck. Now, what I mean by Lycanroc is the Sun and Moon promo Lycanroc that we've gotten a little while ago. And I know this is not the Midnight Lycanroc, which is the better cooling one, but there's actually still some potential with this one. And even some more potential come with the new set <clears throat> that's going to be coming out next month. But honestly, right now, making pure Midday Lycanroc is not a bad way to go either. Because, like I said, there's a lot of crazy things you can do with it. And we're going to go over those crazy things right now. So, for first off here, running four copies of our nice-looking promo Rock Ruff. Now, this is currently the only Rock Ruff we have until Guardians Rising. So, but honestly, the promo looks so much cooler. That's probably what I'm going to end up using, even when we get the new Lycan Rock and Rock Ruffs anyway. And next up here, got four copies of the Lycan Rock GX promo. Now, let me tell you a bit about this card right here. It's got 200 HP. It's a fighting type. Weak to grass. And it kind of stands for rock types. And it's got three attacks. Main one we're going to be focusing on is Crunch. Fighting on a colorless does 30 damage. And you discard an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. So, it's 30 damage. Not too much, but it's automatic energy removal. Not too much, since this is fighting. There's We got some ways to boost up this damage a bit here. Second attack we have here is Accelerock. Two fighting on a color, so 120. Again, we can boost that up even further. And then the GX attack, Lycan Fang GX. That's 200 damage and you discard two energy from this Pokemon. Now, as we all know, we can only use one GX attack per game, but 200 can one-shot a lot of things out there. And broken record here, but that 200 can be boosted up thanks to all the fighting support we have. So definitely a lot of things you can do. This is mainly energy denial. But there's other things you can do with the deck too. Like you don't have to base it around energy and denial if you don't want to. Next up here, I've got two copies of Trubbish and two copies of Garbodor. Since like the main focus of this deck doesn't rely on abilities, we could run Garbodor in here and just shut off our opponent's abilities just to give us even more of an edge. So we've got Energy Denial and we have Ability Shutdown. That's just nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty. I almost feel a shame profiling this because it's right set up. This could be just so gross for your opponent. Right next up here we have two copies of Carbink and one Carbink Break. Now this is just to get some of our energy back that we might lose. So let me break this out for you. Energy removal from your opponent, ability shutdown, and let's say your opponent somehow knocks out Lycan Rocks and gets rid of your energy, boom, you get it right back. Completely insane. And last but not least we have one copy of Shaman EX. Now I'm trying to run one Shaman a lot of things. Mainly just because Lily's a card and it's pretty cool. And honestly, with a lot of decks nowadays, I find one Shaman works for me just fine. If you want to put two Shaman in here, go right ahead. But I personally feel one does a, does a lot for me. And especially since we have Garb here, we don't want to be seeing our Shaman too late. Alright. Um, before anyone says that like one Shaman, you're not going to see it enough. Well, you don't really want to start with Shaman in hand, you always want to Ultra Ball for it. Anyway, to minimize your hand, to be able to take advantage of Shaman more. So, in my defense, that's why. That's another reason why I have one Shaman in here. Alright, next up is going to be our supporters. So, here we got three copies of Professor Sycamore, along with two copies of Ven. Very, very standard. And also, I've got the one Lily I was telling you about, that beautiful full art I've got. Got one Kukui, one Lysander, and here's some more of our energy denial here. We have two copies of Team Flare Grunt, and we have one copy of Team Skull Grunt. Now, Team Skull Grunt was one of our newer support cards that we got from Sun and Moon Base. What, you, what it does is that your opponent reveals their hand, and you discard two energy cards from their hand. And it can be any types of energy. It can be basic, special, whatever. If there's two of them there, you can discard them. At Team Flare Grunt, as we know, you just discard energy from your active. Lily draws until 6, until, unless it's your first turn, then you draw 8. And Cuckoo is just one of those ways we have to boost up our damage and get a little bit more cards. But, as for, that's really it for the supporters, nothing too, too fancy or anything like that. Alright, let me 
just scoop these up here. And now we're gonna go into our items. We've got our first one here, four Ultra Balls, standard with just about any deck imaginable. Just line it up there, all right. Along with four copies of VS Seeker. Now, it looks like we're gonna be losing this card next rotation, but there are, of course, rumors of this getting a reprint in the future, which I hope it does. But to my knowledge, currently, this has not been confirmed in Guardians Rising. Hopefully, the set after that will get it. But who knows for sure. All right. Next up here, we've got three copies of Sparkly Trainer's Mail. Just to help search off every trainer we have in the deck. Speaking of trainers, next one here, we got three copies of Floatstone. Now, these is mainly for your Garbodors. But you could also use it for your Lycanroc, your Carbink if it gets in the active, or honestly just whatever. And honestly, you it's not even like you have to use it because Lycanroc only has one energy retreat cost. So that's pretty cool actually. Same thing with Carbink. So, I mean, it's just a way so you don't have to waste a single energy to retreat. But on the bright side is that if you have to retreat, it doesn't really hurt you that much. It's just one, so... Not really detrimental to your strategy in any way, shape, or form whatsoever. Alright. Next up for more of our energy denial, we got three copies of Crushing Hammer here. And to help get our stuff back, we've got four copies of Puzzle of Time. Now this is just to get back everything, mainly energy denial, like the Crushing Hammers, the Skull Grunts, the Flare Grunts, which I know we have VS Seeker for. But just to be able to get multiples of them back is just too good to pass up, in my opinion. And this is going to be it for our trainer cards. No, I'm sorry, item. Wow, why did I say trainer? I mean, we're almost done with our trainer, but not quite. And next up for our stadium here, we got two copies of Parallel City. No, it's just kind of a standard stadium to run with like almost any deck out there. Really, really versatile and just amazing overall. And for our energy, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six basic fighting energy and four double car. Wow, double colorless. Wow, <laughs> four strong energy. So, let me just give you like a little bit of an idea of how the deck's supposed to roll. Well, not supposed to, but a good start would be just have like a carving in your active. Have some energy in your discard along with a rock rough on your bench. Next turn, go into break, which is any energy. Evolve to your Lycan Rock. Go ahead and use Diamond Gift just to get two energy that you have in your discard to Lycan Rock. Rich you without a float stone or by discarding one. As I said, doesn't really hurt you. Then you just keep going from there with Crunch, getting rid of their energy. Or if you prefer, third energy, Excel Rock to either do a lot of damage when needed. Or to just take a knockout after you deny them energy. And like I said, Lycan Rock G. Well, yeah, Lycan Fang. There we go. Lycan Fang is really just to take that one knockout for game. Which, honestly, I feel like that's what GX attacks are kind of meant for in general. Just for that last play kind of thing. But that's just my personal opinion. And honestly, you don't even need Carbink to start with. You could just start with a Rock Rough, attach your energy, and if it. And if it doesn't get knocked out, you just touch a second. Go straight to your Lycan Rock GX and just go directly into the energy denial from there. So, like I said, there, there is there is a few different ways you could play with this deck and this particular build. But as I said, you could also do other builds with it as well. Like I said, this one's particularly energy denial ability shutdown. You could go for like energy denial and no ability shutdown, or you could just base it around like Cell Rock. And just run Reggie Rock in here to boost up your damage even more. Along with like multiple Kukuis and just... Yeah, like I said. There are a quite a plethora... Ugh. I'm trying to say big words here, guys. Give me a break. Um, Plethora. There we go. There's quite a plethora of ways you can play around with Lycan Rock GX. Not to mention he's a Rock Wolf. How is that not cool? Anyways, guys, this is going to complete my profile slash mini demonstration of Lycanroc GX deck. 
And stick around tomorrow where I take on Professor K's Lorancis Sogaleo deck. Yeah, that's a fair matchup. That'll be fun. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And hopefully my streak continues. Wish me the best of luck, guys. I really want to keep my streak going. So, this has been End with the Pokemon Evolutionaries, and I'll catch you guys later.